Hello friends, welcome to my channel NetBridgeDarty. Friends, today I discuss about the epithelial mesenchymal interaction. In the previous class, we discussed about the cell-cell interaction and the one type of uh, cell interaction which is the proximate or the inductive interaction. In, uh, in those type of interaction, two cells are present. One function as a inducer cell and another function as a responder cell. and both the cells are located in close proximity. This inductive or the proximate interaction is also two type. One is the instructive interaction and another is the permissive in interaction. In case of instructive interaction, the responding cell uh, to form a particular cell, they need, uh, they need instruction or the, or the signal which is sended by the inducer cell. If the inducer cell is absent or the inductive signal is not present, at that case is the responding cell function in the another way and form the another type of cell. Or if the another type or if the another type of inducer cell is present, in that case is the, um, the responding cell the responding cell influence by those in the uh, inducer cell and uh, and form the and form the another type of cells according to according to the signal which is sended by the um, uh, which is sended by the another inducer cell. so in case of instructive interaction the responder cell is not specified to form a particular type of cell uh, if the responder cell is specified then the responder cell form a specific uh, a specific type of cell not form the another type of cell in the presence of the another inducer uh, another type of inducer cell or the absence of another uh, or the absence of inductive signal as the responder cell is not specified cell so the responder cell change its phase according to the influence of the different inductive cells or the absence of induce, uh, indu inductive or the absence of inductive signal. Uh, another type of proximate and inductive interaction is the permissive interaction. In that cases, in that cases, the responder cell, the responder cell is specific to form a particular tissue or the particular cell. In that case, the responder cell is specified for uh, specified to form a particular type of cell and only need permission and the permission is given uh, is given through the environment if the environment is present then the responder cell express its fate which is present within the which is present within the cell and form a particular particular uh, particular type of cell or if the environment is not present uh, in that case uh, the fate of the responder cell does not express and the fate is retained in the dormant stage. So, in the case of permissive interaction, the uh, the responder cell is a specific. The responder cell is specified to form a particular type of cell. And the another type of interaction is the epithelial mesenchymal interaction. Epithelial means during the uh, during the gastrulation process, uh, the movement of cells takes place within the embryo, and three uh, and uh, and three germ layer is formed which is the ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm. This is zygote. Zygote further divide to form morula. Zygote further divide to form morula. Then the morula divide to form blastocyst and within the blastocyst outermost cell is known as trophoblast and the innermost cell is known as inner cell mass.
I see him. After the formation of blastocyst stage, uh, then the gastrulation process takes place, and the uh, the movement and the and movement of the cell also takes place. And after the proper movement of the cells within the embryo, three germ layer is formed. Outermost layer is known as ectoderm. This is ectoderm. This layer is known as mesoderm. And the innermost layer, the inner cell layer is known as the endoderm. And they are togetherly known as germ layer. Epithelial. Epithelial is the thin tissue forming the outer layer of the body. Means this ectodermal layer, which is present the outermost, out, uh, outermost of this uh, of this embryo, is known as the ectoderm. Or the ectoderm is also known as the epithelial layer. And the mesenchyme. Mesenchyme is the cell derived from the mesoderm. Means the mesenchyme, <coughs> the mesenchymal cell is also known as the mesoderm. Mesoderm cell is present in between the ectoderm and the endoderm. But from these three germ layer, all organs of an organism is developed. And so the epithelial layer is also known as the ectoderm, which is the outermost layer of the embryo. And the mesenchyme is the the, mid, uh, the middle layer of the um, uh, middle layer middle cell layer of the embryo, which is present in between the ectoderm and the endoderm. And also known as the mesoderm. Almost all organ consist of epithelial and associated mesenchyme. Means the ninety uh, percent means the ninety percent of the ninety um, percent of organ of our body is composed of ectoderm or mesoderm or the epithelial and the mesenchymal layer. And the other ten percent organ are composed of are composed of from the endodermal cell and the epithelial and the mesenchymal layer are derived from the germ layer and the epithelial and mesenchymal interaction means the interaction which is takes place between the epithelial cell and the mesenchymal cell and form a special structure as the interaction takes place between the cells of epithelial and the mesenchymal layer so this type of interaction is known as epithelial mesenchymal interaction if it is a epithelial layer and this is the mesenchymal layer during inter uh, and, and during this type of interaction the interaction takes place between the, uh, between the cells of this epithelial layer and the mesenchymal layer and form a special type of uh, form a special type of uh, special type of organ or the special type of structure as the interaction takes place between the cells of epithelial and the mesenchymal cell so this type of interaction is known as epithelial mesenchymal interaction epithelial mesenchymal interactions are two types regional specificity of induction and the genetic specificity of induction today i discuss about the regional specificity of induction region means a particular place the tissue of this particular place induces the, the 
tissue of the another region and form a special structure as the interaction takes place between the two uh, interaction takes place between the cells of the two specific region so this type of interaction is known as regional specificity of induction now i discuss about the experiment which is performed in the cheek in the first case of the experiment we see we see that the mesenchymal cell collect from the wing uh, mesenchymal cell collect from the wing of the cheek and the epidermis and the and the, uh, and the epithelial cell or the ectoderm is also collect from the wing region of the cheek and then the mesenchymal cell placed beneath the uh, epithelium cell and after some time we see that wing feather is developed and in the second case we see that the mesenchymal tissue or the mesoderm is collect from the thigh region of the cheek and the wing, and the epithelium or the ectoderm is all uh, ectoderm is collect from the wing region and the, and then the, and, and then the thigh mesenchyme uh, is placed beneath the wing epithelium uh, beneath the wing epithelium or, or the wing ectoderm and we see that the thigh feather is developed and in the third case we see that the mesenchyme is collected from the foot region of the cheek and and the, and the ectoderm or the epithelium is collected from the wing region and then the foot mesoderm or the foot mesenchyme is placed beneath the wing epithelium and the uh, and claws is formed in this experiment we conclude that the wing the wing mesoderm or the wing mesenchyme induces the uh, wing epithelium cell and form the wing feather and in the second case is the thigh mesenchyme induces the thigh uh, the uh, induces the wing epithelium cell and form the thigh feather in the third case we see that the foot mesenchyme cell induces the wing epithelium cell and form claws or the feet of the um, feet of the cheek so the mesoderm induces the ectoderm to form region specific structure region specific structure means the thigh mesoderm form uh, for, uh, interact with the wing uh, interact with the wing epithelial cell and form only the thigh uh, only the thigh feather or the thigh not form the wing and in the case of hand uh, and the uh, and the foot mesenchyme all inter after the interaction with the wing epithelium only form the foot or the claws so the region specific structure means here the mesenchymal tissue of a specific region induces the wing epithelium and form a special structure and the structure is related to that region from where the mesenchymal tissue are collected example the thigh mesoderm plus wing ectoderm form the thigh thigh feather and the thigh feather is a regional specific structure because the thigh feather or the thigh is related to the thigh region and in this experiment as the mesenchyme tissue is collected from the thigh region and this mesenchyme induces the wing epithelium cell and form thigh feather or the thigh when the different region of dermis or mesenchyme are recombined with epidermis or epithelium in the cheek the types of cutaneous structure made by epidermal epithelium is determined by original source of mesenchyme means uh, if the mesenchymal cells are combined with or the recombined with the epidermis tissue then the epidermis tissue form a special type of cell and which type of cell is formed it is determined by mesenchyme cell if the origin of the mesenchymal cell is the thigh region then the ectodermal cell form the thigh tissue if the origin of the mesenchymal tissue is the foot region then the ectoderm form the foot
if the mission of if the origin of the mission command cell is from the wing region then the electron from the wing i hope you understand the today's class if you understand this class please hit the like button and subscribe my channel thank you